another day another adventure welcome today is Thursday and Thursday means African drumming in St Kilda so the plan for today is first get some to eat at one of my favorite restaurants lentil as anything in St Kilda so there'll be a bit of a stop over there for about on a half an hour or so um, and then from there now that's already in St Kilda from there it, it's only a five minute drive to a special parking spot which I have which is almost always uh, available and doesn't actually cost anything because all around St Kilda it's a real pain because there are parking meters everywhere but there are, I think there are three spots uh, which I found uh, which don't actually charge for parking and uh, usually they're available so um, so they're uh, in a little strategic location so that's that's right park and it's just um, across the road from from St Kilda Beach so anyway, that's the plan. Um, objective for today, well, considering St Kilda Beach is pretty bad for fines, um, if I get five bucks, fantastic. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the objective, just to get five dollars on St Kilda Beach. Um, obviously, any any beach detecting means that there's always a possibility to find some kind of jewelry or some other goodies. Um, but yeah, that's that's just such a that's just you know such a. Uh, uh, a big call that well it's not going to be an objective you're going to be realistic but i think five dollars we should be able to pull out five dollars hopefully and um, i'll have many many hours so really i'm going there for the drumming i'm that that's really what i'm going there for but like i said because it's at the beach anyway and um, well you know my baby's at the back in the boot so i'll be taking that and um yeah and trying my luck so yeah so i got the camera with me today so it should be good fun so hang in there and um Let's go. In today's topic of the day, I want to discuss an interesting, perhaps maybe an even controversial topic. Well, it's more likely to be called a game. The game called Dirty Coin Payback, where the power is in our hands. Now, <laughs> what's the Dirty Coin Payback? Well, as you, as you all know, when we detect we find coins and sometimes the coins well are a little bit worse for wear in fact this is so a little bit worse for wear that probably we wouldn't have the balls to use those coins when we go shopping um, or to give them to a shop attendant or cashier so the question is well what do we do with them now it hasn't really been a problem for me in the past because I've been a fairly good boy and uh, I actually clean my coins I don't know why I just get a lot of pleasure cleaning them even even the in-use coins the 5 10 20 cent pieces I just give them a nice little scrub um, uh, clean them in, in vinegar solution and so forth so they actually tend to come up really really nice but nevertheless um, I have been um, speaking to some people who who detect and it was just a topic that came up um what to do with with bulk bulk um loads of coins now yes over time i i have to admit that i am slowly starting to get sick of of, of washing uh those coins and um i'm just going to be putting them aside and the question is well what do we do with them now it's a little bit cheeky obviously to to pass them uh, to an innocent party so I thought about this and I thought well in this case the power is in our hands and we can actually use these dirty coins for payback now for payback I mean well <laughs> we'll be it will be passing literally passing the buck to somebody else now uh, somebody who ideally you want to get a little bit of payback to um, so I'm thinking, well, who could that be? Parking meters are obviously uh, a good example. I know another guy, detectorists, who, what he does, he actually um, inserts them into vending machines. He puts the coins into vending machines. And once he does that, then he uh, presses the coin return button and gets a nice clean set of coins. Now, I actually don't use vending machines, so that, that's not my cup of tea, but certainly what I have been um, 
considering is to you to allocate some coins to put those really dirty coins aside and put them in parking meters that's one uh, another one is if I'm ever forced to use those self-serve registers you know the ones that we installed in supermarkets apparently for our convenience uh, so we can check out a lot quicker obviously self-serve um, but these come at a cost to the staff who obviously um, have lost their jobs because uh, these are uh, self-serve registers so that that's a good one so if you want to get payback for their cost cutting um, then you can use the dirty coins and, and use them in the uh, the self-serve cashiers gosh look I, I, I don't know um, but certainly I would like to hear some of your advice what do you do with the dirty coins uh, I'm assuming you can take them to the bank and, and the bank can exchange them for new coins I think in fact um, so long as it's legal tender banks have to accept coins oh, I haven't actually tried it at my local bank um, like I said my situation may be a little bit different to most in that I tended to have cleaned my coins in the past so I've converted them from dirty to clean and I've always been able to use them um, in the conventional way but nevertheless um, I am stocking up on dirty coins so um, bank could be an option definitely parking meters an option uh, self-serve uh, checkouts are an option um, vet, like I, I heard vending machine uh, that's an option they're the things that come into my my mind but please use that uh, comments section to to put down your comments what would you like to do with the dirty coins do you think um, playing um, dirty coin payback is a good good game to play um, and if so uh, who do you like to get uh, <laughs> dirty coin payback on um, very interested to, to see what sort of responses I get Well, here we are at Lentil as Anything, which is probably my favourite restaurant here in Melbourne. Uh, in fact, this is a restaurant where I do stop over for my day tours for my guests. Now, it's an unusual restaurant in that it has a menu without prices. Uh, and what that means is that people can choose to pay what they feel like. So, you could say that it's the only restaurant in the world well one that has that type of menu anyway which, which has really fair prices because you pay what you think is fair so obviously different people have got a different uh, different 
concept of what fairness is and as a result different people will be paying different amounts for for their food. Uh, service is absolutely fantastic, you get treated with respect here, they call you sir, they call you mister, everyone's really friendly and it's run by volunteers. So so what I'm doing here is I'm just having a bit of a meal first uh, just to just to get some energy up happening uh, and after this uh, head down to uh, St Kilda Beach for the drumming festival. And here it is, he's lean towards anything. Nice, nice table on the outside. So, so that's it. So I'll be getting my meal and then um, speaking to you soon out on St Kilda Beach. And here it is, the chef, the most attractive chef in St Kilda. Uh, so much. Enjoy your meal. And there's the food. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got the tofu burger here. That's the dessert. Oh, mmm, and popcorn. Yum. That's something new. Well, here we are, St Kilda Beach. Thursday night, drumming night. It's party time. So here we are, hopefully you can hear me with some fantastic beats in the background. It's time to do some detecting. Like I said, today's goal, today's objective is $5. The beach is empty. Practically completely empty, so there are no excuses. And yes, it would have been cleaned as always, but like I said, five dollars should be doable. Um, so let's go. Now, considering it, this is right next to the rubbish bin, it'll probably be crap. But according to the Garrett Ace, it's a 65, so that could be five cents. Five cents, or 
well, we'll have a go. I, I think it's going to be five cents. But that can also be some foil. Oh, bingo, yes, gets the call right finally. Five cents, here we are. Remember, on the ace, Garrett Ace, 65, 64 is five cents. So we're on the board. Well, I'm getting a bit of a mixed signal here. Um, it's hovering about 70, 72, 69 as well. Um, around about the 72 mark, it's usually 10 cents, but considering it's hovering all over the place, it may be rubbish. But let's have a look. It's very shallow. So I'm going to check it out. Come on. Ten cents. It's ten cents or what the hell? Where are you? Bingo. Ten cents it is. So five dollars. Here we come. Another signal which is which is hovering all over the place here. Um, maybe it's a pull uh, pull tab, but it should be shallow. So we'll have a look. I really have no idea what it is. It's, it's jumping between ten cents and five cents. So we'll have a look. Oh, it's half a pull tab. Oh, that's a duh. Oh, that's just bad luck. Well, I wouldn't. Like I said, I wouldn't have guessed that one. I thought perhaps a pull tab, but I wouldn't have guessed half a pull tab. Okay, chances are this is going to be another pull tab. It's hovering around 76, but it is jumping to the low 70s and high 60s. Now, let's have a look. It shouldn't be too deep. So, we'll have a look. I'm not holding my breath. There it is, it's in here. So, pull tab. Or something nice that's the question that's the question okay so it's there pull tab oh it's a pull tab what a bummer oh and look at that and i've got an audience that is oh well that's as you can well the joke's on me isn't it <laughs> This is seriously jumping all over the place. Normally, normally when the signals jump all over the place, it's crap. But just considering that it's nice and shallow, ah, and I'm feeling good today, I'm going to give it a go. Oh, don't tell me. That's it. Oh, not good. I would not have picked that, obviously, <laughs> obviously. What the hell it is, I have no idea. But that's it. So that was jumping all over the place from 60s to 70s and back again. Seriously, just don't get it. Practically every every target jumping all over the place. Now, this one, look, I guess it might be 10 cents. Because, oh, it is 10 cents, there you go. I was gonna say, yeah, I was gonna say, it's hovering around the 10 cent mark, but normally 10 cents would be about 73, and it would sit on 73, but this is jumping 71, 73, 74. Very, very strange. It's looking like five cents again. Now, might as well just, just check. It's not exactly that I'm finding coins every couple of meters here. But I'm not going to waste too much time if I don't get a beep. I'll keep going. Because it's not exactly shallow. 
but it's a good signal. So, oh, uh huh. There it is, there somewhere. Now, I would say it's going to be five cents. So, if that's the case, then ever so slowly are we getting to the five dollar target. Where the hell are you now? Unless it's foil, there's always a chance that it could be foil and that would be a real bummer. Oh, here, hang on. Oh, no, that was the... Oh, come on. Gee whiz. Oh, well, there you go. That's foil. Oh, I'll just grab that while I can. I'll just check if that's the only thing. Oh, well, probably that's it. Anyway, the beauty of live digs. Jumping wildly here. High, from high 60s to mid 70s. I seriously just don't get... I, I seriously don't get why every single almost every single t practically every single target is not clean so if someone can tell me that that would be really good oh no well what crap is this 71 72 should be 10 cents Nice and shallow. Let's have a look. Uh oh, is it? Oh, gee. One of the few. Oh gosh. One of the few stable targets. And it's okay, two targets next to each other. One is 70, 71. So that again should be should be 10 cents unless it's some other weed. Fairly stable. And the other one, which is here somewhere, that's 86. Now, 80, 86, I have no idea, but it's a fairly good signal. Stable. Oh, here it is. Whoa, what's this? Out. I'm not sure what that is. But yeah, that's fair enough. That's something different. We'll take that. 86. Who would, would not have guessed? And hang on. That's that's that one. And this. Yes, we have 10 cents. Oh boy, the 10 cent beach. Is that it? That's it, 84, 85, one of my favorite signals. Not the favorite, because the favorite's 83. But, 84 and 85 is almost as good. It's half as good. We have one dollar. We have one dollar. Okay, let's keep going. Righto, this, this could be a false alarm because it's very close to this, but I'll just check anyway. I'm starting to get a little bit desperate again here. So, like I said, I can't... Oh, no, that's it. Yeah, it's that. I was going to say, I can't work out where the beep is coming from, whether it's from this or whether it's from here. I also found five cents just before, but because the battery's running a little bit low, I didn't want to bother you 
with that because you've seen me find a few five cent pieces already but yeah I'm think I'm gonna start to search around the edges again out of desperation because I'm not having much luck on the beach and if we want to get that five dollar objective yeah so I'm getting these things so if we want that five dollar objective then the change in strategy will be will be needed. Unfortunately, I give up, that's it, uh, objective of five dollars has not been met, the, the drummers have now moved over to the other side, which we will now go to, so I've given it a big effort, but unfortunately that is it, so what we'll do is just look at this entertainment until the battery runs out. Not only do we have the drummers here, but we also have some, well a bit of a party actually. Hang on, I'll just turn the light on. live entertainment to see us through until the end of the night. Low battery so it's time to say goodbye. So here it is. The finds from Thursday night. Now as you can see, um, an additional set of coins has appeared. These ones here. This is... Oh, no, that's actually wrong. That should not be here. That should be here. Now, these are the coins that I found at the beach, St Kilda Beach. And this little object, whatever it may be. I think it's a, it's a pin some sort okay so these are the beach finds the objective was five dollars well clearly clearly that was a fail um, it's one dollar and thirty and forty cents now I gave up and called it a night left the beach but thought no hang on I'm not going to give up that easily. So I stopped over at a park on the way back to my place and this is what I found. Would have spent maybe 45 minutes. Really bad condition coins. I mean you can tell the difference between a park 10 cent piece and a beach cent piece or this is probably oh no this is it look at that very modern coin nice and shiny love it 
problem is there's just not much of it there, that's all. Like I said, St Kilda Beach wouldn't do it unless I'm there anyway. So, for anyone who's travelling to Melbourne or is in Melbourne, be warned. St Kilda Beach, yes, of course, you can find something. In fact, every single place I've been to, ever, I've always found something. But, after a lot of digging, looking, searching, that's it. Compared to 45 minutes in a park. So there you go. Very yucky stuff. But stuff, nevertheless. 20 cents. 5 cents. Six dollars and three dollars, so it's nine dollars, nine dollars thirty-five. I didn't tape it, as you as you guys saw. Battery ran out of um, sorry, yeah, the battery basically ran out of power. Um, so so went home. On the way, stopped at the park. Stocked up on cash, got home, recharged the camera, and here it is. So there you go.